Watch Porch Talk, Thursdays, 7.30 p.m. The Mother and Daughter Team, keeping you informed on SVP TV. Greetings with the Holy Word Peace. I'm Pastor Donnie, and this is my daughter, Donnie Lachey. And welcome to Porch Talk. Today we have an exciting show again. Always. Always. Always exciting, amen. And so we're going to be talking about books today. You know, we always talk about this Holy Bible. Yeah, we but do. you know, God gives us a mind to write books to 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 let us know it and encourage people to do different things in life. So God doesn't just want us to just read His Holy Bible, but He got other books for us to read for all ages. That's right. So I guess it's just a, a different way of getting His Word out, and by helping and encouraging others who don't want to read the Bible but want to read something else. Amen. So we're gonna get ready to today and. Uh, and introduce to you our guest on today. You want to say her name? Because I don't know it. I just know T. I just know T, too. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's going to have to do her own introductions. That'll work. I mean, of course y'all know me as T. We, we 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 pretty much like family here at SVP. If y'all don't know, I used to work here um, in the production Camera role. woman, camera woman. So you, I guess y'all finally get to see my face. For the yeah. behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. That's where I'm, <laughs> I'm normally, I normally am. But anyway, my Arthur name is Tierra Marge. Tierra Marge. I like that. That's so easy. <laughs> well, you could thank my mama for that. Tierra Marge. Tierra Marge. I do. I like that. Hey, Amen. Yeah. You know, that's one reason why I tell you I don't like nicknames. Cause I. Oh, cause you. Yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah, because I had called her. Well, no, nah, I had texted you, right? I'm like, who I, is I this? I called her and texted her, and I was like, it's Tierra. She was like, who? <laughs> and I realized, like, they, they never knew my real name. <laughs> I know it. I watched it. I see it on Facebook. Yeah. I know. It, but pronouncing it is a whole other story. Okay, that's fair. Mm -hmm. That's fair. <laughs> Tiaja. I, was, I love it. It's a beautiful Tierra. name. It's, it's just Tierra. 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 Marge. Right. Okay. Marge, yeah. Marge. Amen. Amen. Uh, so we asked Tierra what her Bible scripture was. And we'll be coming from Psalms 46 on today. Father, we thank you right now for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you for the peace of Jesus that surpasses all understanding. We thank you for your love, Father God, and how that you endow us with so many spiritual gifts, God, that we can share with others, God. And we just want to thank you for that right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank God and amen. 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 So she chose Psalms 46 and 10. So let's go to one. Mm -mm. Amen. Okay. God is our refuge and strength, our very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled through the mountains, though the mountains shake with the swellings thereof. Sound like some earthquakes and stuff going on, right? Right. Yeah. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the temple of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. No way, he ain't gonna wait till the last minute. Mm -mm. He's gonna come and get to your help, amen, glorify God. The heathens raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voices and the earth melted. The Lord is with us, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he has made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spears in sunder. He burneth the chariots of fire in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathens. I will be exalted in the earth. Amen. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. 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 So why did you choose that scripture? Because I oftentimes have to find myself, remind myself to be still and know. Because sometimes I have this habit of like getting in my head and worrying about things that haven't occurred or that may or may not occur. And really? I forget I have to lay all my worries to his feet, you right. know, and be still and know. Everything is for you. It'll come to you. 
and it's in God's time. You know, uh, anything that's for you, it cannot and will not miss you. So I have to remind myself that. That's a beautiful reminder. Yeah. I mean, because we do get, we as human, that's why I said she's human. I mean, we are human. And so therefore, uh, I don't care who you are, where you sit, where you stand, what your position is in ministry or whatever. We worry. Yeah. We get scared. We 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 can't figure it out. We want to know how come it didn't happen like we wanted it to happen when we wanted it to happen that right. time. Not in control. We're not in control. Mm -mm. And so he's telling us, even at the top, that's what he's saying. God is our refuge and strength, our very present help in trouble. Mm -hmm. So no matter where you are, no matter where you're sitting, no matter what you're doing, he right there. Right there all the time. All the time. All the time. Even when we feel like he's not working, he's working. So I just have to remind myself of that and, and not, not get ahead of myself. And another thing that always tells me, too, is like a wise person once told me, um, we didn't create ourselves, so how we know what to do with ourselves? You know, like I didn't think that, you know, I didn't just appear because of me. I'm just here, you know what I mean, because of him. So he's, as we're speaking about books, he's the author. I'm just a character in the story, you know. So Exactly. Yeah. Wow. That was profound, Donnie. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> That was crazy. It was <laughs> profound. I mean, it's I true. Think about we did things make, like that a lot. Yeah. The Bible tells us in the book of Psalms that he created us. We didn't make ourselves. And so, like you say, he has a destination for us. Pretty That's much. It's crazy. What? It What's was crazy? written. It's, okay, for one, I went to iRobot. <laughs> okay. Like for real, for real, for my real. father created me. Well, why did he create you? He created him for a reason. He didn't fully understand what his what his purpose was until he, you know, started movement and started paying attention and listening. That's crazy. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> That's dope. Whoever. Yeah, and to, to, yeah. to put it that way. It was yeah, just, to put it that yeah. way. Yeah, okay. Sometimes right. we just have to simplify the meaning. Like, because we can think that it's complicated, but it's like, if not. you just simplify it, it makes perfect sense. Like, you didn't create you, so how would you know what to do? What is your story? You just have to trust him and trust the spirit that he gave you. And it's funny you said that because there's one thing, I think it was probably earlier this week. Because sometimes I find that I make some things more complicated than what they are. And some, so I, I've been getting in the, it, telling myself to just like sit back and just reobserve it, reevaluate it, and see what's the simplest way to deal with a particular situation to keep me from stressing out as mm -hmm. well. So that's crazy. I appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all for having me. It's helping me spread the word about about my work and, and, and Rose, big man. Really, his work because like how I even came about Still a Rose. Um, I've always uh, that's the title of her book, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Yeah. Still a Rose. <laughs> my children's book, Still a Rose, Amazon or anywhere else you can get books. But anywho, um, he put it on my heart to do that. Um, I've I've always uh, wrote material, but I've never like published it. So back in twenty twenty. Uh, when I had, when we all had the time to tap into some of those things that we always said we was going to do, um, I just researched like how to independently publish and, um, I just researched that and actually still a rose wasn't even the first piece of material that I, I, um, wrote when I was like writing, um, c coming up with concepts for children's books. Um, that was a personal poem of mine right. and it helped me. Um, and it was about uh, like self confidence and just knowing that you can rise above adversity, no matter um, who you are or or what you do or where you at in life. And uh, for whatever reason, like the spirit just moved me to like just put that out, you know. And I also like the saying, you know, what I'm saying God said you make one step, He'll make the next two. So I didn't know like why I had an urge to put this one first, mm -hmm. but He just told me to do so. Right. And out of my uh, two books, this has been the most popular. And a lot of people, um, including uh, adults, like hit me back and tell me that how these words really move them and move right. their That's spirit. Right. That's why I said in the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, books does not it doesn't really have an age. It says child's book, but if a, an adult, 60, 70 years old, have not had courage, has not had any, you know, uh, self good self esteem for themselves. Mm -hmm. 
this book can help them. It doesn't matter the age. Yeah, true. It, it, it's it's a very good book. And it goes back to, like, simplifying the concept. Like, I use the, the metaphor, um, the rose that grew from concrete, because that, like, simplifies. A lot of people are familiar with that concept, meaning, mm -hmm. like, you in short, you kind of just rising above adversity and letting that special thing with within you shine and that reaches all ages and all races that's right so uh all ages and all races that's yeah right. and even when i decided to like publish the book i even had a bit of a, a quorum with myself like um because you know it's a big thing in schools where like they don't want to like mention religion or mention god right and in my book there's a line that i mentioned god and i remember when i was writing it i was like oh well and i was about to publish i was like should i change that line because i do plan on getting to schools and you know the, this whole controversy about that but you know spirit told me once again leave it leave it like it is and this book is in schools you know with the mentioning of god and things like that so um, like you say, you just gotta trust it. Be still and know. Just like know he, he'll yeah, create the he rest is, of the he's way. He's in charge now. Yeah, you know. How many books do you have? Uh, published, have published? I have two. So uh, just still a rose and big mad. Yes. Big yes. mad. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> and still, and still a rose. Uh, what is your favorite? Like, what is your, besides the one where you actually say something about God? What is your favorite? page or the favorite words on that page for you let me see your book really the opening lines a, a rose is still a rose no matter where it grows you know and i mean that pretty much sums it up like because it's inspired off tupac's concrete rose tupac is my favorite artist mine's too i really got so much in <laughs> <laughs> but he's my favorite artist and I when i was it. um when I was a kid in school, when I found out that he also did poetry, it made me mm -hmm. um, grow more interest into poetry. And it helped me. It was my outlet um, when I was a kid at home and whenever I was frustrated or whatever I was mm -hmm. feeling, I always wrote it out or uh, created stories or, or uh, I drew, you know, any type of artwork. But the main thing that always stuck with me was, like, storytelling and creating my own worlds. So... Um, that was just the thing that has always naturally been with me. Like no one had ever, um, had to teach me to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, so um, that's, that's, that's what it, he gives us gifts. Those right. are the gifts that God gives us. And a lot of people take their gifts and they set them down and put them up under something. But God is not pleased with us doing that. Mm -hmm. And so when he tell, give us instructions and sometimes like when I write music, somebody else might want to train some of the words in my music, but that ain't what God told me to do. Mm hmm Right. You know, and sometimes it works with other people, although I don't throw everybody's opinions out, you know, mm -hmm. but I listen and then I'll see what he want me to do. And if God says it's OK to rearrange that like that, then I will. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I mean, it all goes back to listening to spirit. You know, that's what, that's what I feel like. Um, I just recently, speaking to Tupac, I just recently uh, read his mom's memoir. Mm -hmm. And in the book, she said something like, um, you know, when you're an artist, um, you uh, you're basically your job as an artist is basically to get whatever message God put within you out. Exactly. You don't know why you do it or how you do it or how it came to be. You just know it's this thing like it just has to be out. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Maya Angelou in her book Heart of a Woman, she also uh, mentioned this concept of, you know, an artist is the only um, I don't want to call it a job, but it's like the only gift. Well, not a gift. I would say career if you want to make it a career as an artist, right? It's the only thing that chooses you. You can't choose it. Wow. And I never thought she's about so, them. Like she's, she's special, ain't it? Back you, there in the camera <laughs> Like, you <laughs> can't. Like, no Man. one, you, you can, you know what I mean? Like, you can learn how to be an accountant or mm. a, a banker or what, you know, you can, it's a step-by-step -step process, but no one can really teach you how to be an artist for real, for real. Like, that's something it chooses you, for real. Like, that you can learn the skills and techniques, but that don't mean that you have the passion special, to do it. Yeah, right. or that, that special that, thing to really make it grow. Right. Hmm. That's that makes amazing. a whole lot of sense. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> good, 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 glad you're here tonight, Ed. Eh? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how God works with our minds. And her scripture... Is to say, it's to be still and know that I am God. 
It says, I will be exalted among the heathens, and I will be exalted in the earth. And so just as she's saying these, uh, what gifts God gives to us, he's going to be exalted through those gifts. And it says, you know, we often say our gifts make room for us. Mm -hmm. And so he's exalted through the gifts that he gives his children. We belong to him. And if we, uh, I was talking to someone earlier today about being sanctified. Mm -hmm. And sanctification merely means to be set apart to do a particular work. All right. So you got a lot of people that's in the pulpit. You got a lot of people that, like I said, get, get, things and they had them or they want to be exalted themselves but we are to exalt God with our gifts all our gifts belong to God and so when you got that story when you when it was coming to your spirit you're like okay this is like you said some people can just hit that piano and they playing it from the from the day one yeah, yeah. it's a God-given gift you can hear now I can learn piano which I tried didn't work too well didn't do it <laughs> <laughs> I can, I, I can read the read it, but I'm like, okay, what am I still with? Yeah. You know, but I'm not a pianist. So that's not my that's not my gift. Now, I can learn how to play it and probably can learn to play it skillfully if I dedicate myself to that time. Mm -hmm. But that's not my gift. Yeah. You know, so we can learn things. Like you said, we can learn certain things. But what is your gift? Right. And so your gift of writing, like you said, you, write your, you, write, you wrote yourself out of depression. Yeah. You know, <laughs> why, were, God. why were you created? I was created to worship God. <laughs> I was created to exalt Him above. See why? Just, just. <laughs> but uh, it was something I was about to say. I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot. We play too much. <laughs> we play too much. That's okay. Oh uh, well, I forgot. Y'all gonna have to take the come ask me a question. You <laughs> take the conversation somewhere else. I forgot. You want to talk about Big Mad? Yeah, we I know can. we don't have it presented, but that's on Amazon as well, correct? Yeah, it is. Um, okay. So Big Mad, um, I actually wrote Big Mad before Still a Rose, but I published Still a Rose first. But that's basically a soft introduction to meditation um, for children. So I started to take meditation seriously in in 2020 as well. Um, it helps me like to to clear my mind and just for like clarity you know um people meditate differently and for me i found that like i i tend to do better when i'm outside in nature like things come to me like ideas or just you know we can get away and just simplify everything that we mm -hmm. overthink or we you know what i'm saying like sometimes the answer can be right in front of us but because we so tied up in something else uh, we don't see it. So, like, when I'm outside walking in amongst the trees or outside and whatever, trees, water, air, things like that really speak to me. So you don't just sit in a yard or sit in the backyard and sit down on the actual grass or ground and meditate. You actually walk around and meditate? Um, I do both. I okay. do both. Like, sometimes I sit, sometimes I walk. Uh, sometimes I'll just do it right in my living room in the morning. Um, I like to have natural sunlight coming through. Like, I, I don't like dark areas. So in the morning, like, I like that type of vibe and setting and just, I don't know, just sit there. And, and, and one thing that also helps me, which I might look crazy out there walking, but sometimes, like, I find it helpful just to, like, talk, speak out loud to God. Like, actually have a conversation, you know what I mean? Not answering myself back or anything, but just saying things out loud. Like, you know, uh, just telling them, like, I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for uh, all the blessings I've received, and I don't take any of it for granted. And, uh, you know, God just, you know, show me X, Y, Z. Like, what is it you need me to see or know? And I just say things like that out loud. I love God. He's so and, awesome. <laughs> like it'll it'll in time it'll come to me, and I leave feeling rejuvenated, uh, with a lighter spirit. And like it's like okay, I know the next the next thing I want to do next, or you know, I just have a clearer mind and, and more connected to to spirit. Do you use Oops. crystals? No. Okay. No, nah, just, just I was just asking. I can, I can ask. <laughs> you asked. I, I made a face. You <laughs> did. Hallelujah. Glorify God. Magnify his name forever. That's my thing. To get out in nature. Mm hmm To, you know, I do. Uh, yard work. I do stuff on the yard. And sometimes oh. when I'm out in that yard, God will give me this, give me that. 
and it, and then just the other day I was driving, and I was like, okay, Lord, da 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 da, ding dong dong, beep, you know, I was gone with it. I was like, okay, yeah, I got your own language, like, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just telling him <laughs> stuff, just saying what I'm saying, and I said, okay, I'm talking, I'm, I'm in the car, mm -hmm. loud as a mug, yeah, it's like I'm, I got fed up now. You know, <laughs> I'm fed up with what's going on and how my life going. I want this, da da da. Why you just show me? You know, oh, you know, just, you just saying. Yeah. yeah. What I'm gonna do next? What's up next? So <laughs> like you did that? a cry out, <laughs> a cry out, yell out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was All like, right. peep this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, and and it's necessary. Yeah, it's necessary, and it, and it does make us feel so much better, and that's why I'm. I, I can, it's just the thought of me not worshiping and praising God. It don't, it don't even come to my mind. I mean, there's no other way. I know when my sister passed away, I thought I wasn't going to do anything else. I definitely wasn't going to do porch talk. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to go preach. I ain't say I wasn't going to sing because I'm going to sing anyway, whether really. I want to sing or not, because yeah. that's my gift. But my daughter, when she called and said she would do the show with me, the Spirit of the Lord just... I mean, I, I could have probably could have ran home. I was in Atlanta. I probably could have ran home. Mm -hmm. You know, when I found out, you know, how God, God is just amazing. Yes. Be still. And know. He got it taken care of. It's already figured I out. God. I ain't going to call you no more. <laughs> now I'm just playing. She going to call me. Yeah, then look how long y'all been going. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Since 2019. Right. And your and, sister and who, was such a beautiful person. Like, I, I was working here then when she was here, so... Yeah, y'all took taking the show a long way. Got your new set and everything. I like what this. What the what the? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and we still just as crazy as ever, you know, still happy, you know, that God is still with us because he said, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted no matter what. Mm -hmm. If the mountains move, I'm going to still be here. Yeah. Right? If the, the earthquakes come, guess what? I'm still here. I'm still God. Right. So exalt him in your gifts, whatever your gifts are. And that's one of the things I, I, I love about Porch Talk. It is a show of encouraging to others. We're here to encourage other people. We're not here for me and Donnie. It, it's not about Donnie and Donnie and, and stuff, but it's about our guests. And so our guest comes on, and we want to encourage them to keep on doing what you're doing. Amen. God give you another book, maybe a little bit thicker. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Look, maybe hey, not. Like, okay, so like I said, I've I've always been a writer. Right. So my next thing was to uh do screenplays, right? Amen. I have been saying that like I wanna do like start writing my own like scripts and things like that. I really admire like Spike Lee and, and people like that. So but I kept putting it off, right? Mm -hmm. I kept like, uh, I don't know just yet. I don't feel like I'm ready. Um even though I have all these concepts and stories in my head of, or whatever. And so I feel like once once I did the book, it was like, okay, I did the book really as a test just to see, like, okay, I feel like that will be the easiest place to start right. as far as, like, getting my work out. Um, and the crazy thing is, actually, this month, uh, Hattie Lou Theater called me that they want to do a production from the book, about the book. Cry. So – Going back to be still and know, Ooh, like hallelujah. I kept putting it off, and he brought it to me. Like, okay, you, if you not gonna bring it. Like, I'm gonna bring it to you. So, um, I met with the girls a couple of weeks ago, who's gonna be doing the production and, and doing the play, and uh, they are so beautiful. They're doing such a great job over there at Hadley Theater with the youth. And um, <laughs> a couple of people came and was like, "You ever thought about writing scripts yourself? To like, you can start here." And she just rent like them not knowing that like I already had aspirations. So like you know, uh, God brought it to my <laughs> front porch. <laughs> no, God brings you know we don't have to chase blessings, right? Blessings like, are chasing us, and we don't even realize it. Yeah, you know we don't have to run after anything. They come in. It's it, it comes to us. That's why I said Ooh. when I said at the beginning, like what's Thank for you, you, it cannot miss you. It and can't it's miss crazy you. because somebody made the statement that said you can stay in your house or you can sleep in your bed and the opportunities will still come if it's meant for you. And when they said it, I was like, but if you're in the bed, don't matter, know you're there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm scooting over this way. <laughs> All righty then. But I thought it was weird, but but when you when you when you put it like that, 
it makes more sense. Because when you think about it, if you just sit in your bed, if you in the house, if nobody knows you're there, like you will have your neighbors or something that may come by to check on you or somebody might think that the house is vacant and want to come and buy the house or something like that. But if you are not moving at all, like you made a move. Mm -hmm. You made a move. You were putting off what you wanted to do. But because you made this move, Somebody else saw it, and something was presented to you. So I guess it's like you said earlier. You take one step, he going to take two steps for you. So yeah. I feel like that's how that was. But the concept of just staying in the house, I, I couldn't. I couldn't sometimes, it. sometimes, it, it depends on what God's purpose is. Uh, we got a few more minutes. Uh, God's purpose. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. But everything right. that is his purpose, his plan, it's going to go forward. Some people don't move. And they never will. And, they, and, and it ain't going to come to them because God already know what they are. And what, Like I said, he give you ten talents. The, he gave the man the talents, the ten talents, the five talents, and the one talent. The ten talent would make ten more talents. That five talent made four more talents. The one talent hid his in the ground. God took his talent from him and gave it to the one with the ten. Hmm. He said, you know I'm a hard man, but yet you hid my money. You ain't, make, you ain't do nothing, bruh. Yeah. What's up? You have to get up and make a move. And so even if it's just in your mind to want to do something sometimes, because people have gifts and they don't want to do nothing with them, so they don't come in their mind. So they could be sitting at the house wishing and hoping something would happen, mm -hmm. and it happens. So it could be mentally. To, I don't know how to do nothing else but this. I've been doing this all my life. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should try something else. And a lot of time it goes to, like, just having simple confidence like he didn't say that you gotta step out and be perfect you can't he nope, just just to step perfect. out like we'll fill in nobody the rest of the perfect. way you know so like it it doesn't have to be perfect sometimes like i said i feel like we just overthink things and think oh i gotta have a b c in order but it's not like that life is not like that i always tell my my sisters this um you know when you're in the hospital when you flatline like you dead, that means you dead. Right. right. When you alive, the line is going up and down. Right. Cause that's life. Right. right. Like that's literal life, ups and downs. You she know what I mean? Tag man, she so coming up with all these right. epiphanies, man. Come that's on now. Like, and I, I just help people. You got to one like, more minute to go here. Come on, to baby. To look at it like that because like you wow. don't want to. It's not a flat line ride. That mean if you perfect, that means it's a flat line, which means you're not living, which means you dead. You you're not able to make any mistakes. You're not able to do anything. You perfect. Yeah. Glorify yeah. God, yeah. magnify you know I mean? His name forever. So, you need to come yeah. back. We need some more of your stuff. <laughs> We That's right. So we're gonna be like, we're gonna be alive. We're gonna keep rolling. We're gonna make some. We're gonna mess up. We're gonna get back up again. Right. Amen. Glorify God. We want to thank you for coming out. Say her name. Tiara. Tiara. Y'all know me as Tiara. Y'all can say Tiara. I'm sure they'll put Tiara on the screen Y'all go to Amazon. <laughs> get this book. Get the other book. Uh, Big Mad. Still a Rose. Read it to your children. Read it to yourself. Hmm. Amen. Glorify God. And so we want to thank you again for coming on with us. Thank you for having me. It yeah. feels good to be back in the neighborhood of SVP. SVP <laughs> got it going on today. Amen. Don't forget to look, look up, up and, and live. live.